Hello Sagittarius, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you and I am ready to do your tarot and oracle card reading for November 2022 and uh, just uh, go over some of the basics. This is a general reading so some of it may resonate, some of it may not. Uh, what resonates with you, wonderful, hang on to it. What doesn't resonate, then let it go. Uh, if you'd like your own personal reading, you can get that. All you got to do is go to the box below and uh, look at my website. Go, it, it gives my website address, and you can go there and learn how to get your own personal reading. Uh, if you'd like to make a monetary donation uh, for this reading, uh, my Venmo and PayPal information is also in the box below, and you can make your donation through that. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. I've already pulled your cards. And it looks like Sagittarius. I love, for some reason, this is one of my favorite cards in the Map Oracle card deck. This is the uh, Deep Freeze card. And it tells me, Sagittarius, you know what? Something happened. I, you know, again, this is a general reading. So it could have been uh, anything. It could have been a breakup, a, a death, or job loss, whatever. You, it's, you pick your story. But whatever it was, it froze you. And it took a long time for you to overcome it. And you are now finally starting to thaw out. You're now finally ready to move forward. And, and what the wonderful thing about this card that I love so much is it, it depicts a lion thawing out. So it tells me that whatever it was that happened to you, Sagittarius, you are strong. You are strong as a lion, but even lions can get um, de derailed sometimes and whatever the situation was it really derailed you and put you in a deep freeze but you're starting to come out of it the wheel of fortune is telling me that I mean this is a major card too this is telling me that things are starting to change in your life you're coming out of that deep freeze and you're starting to move on but the wonderful thing is the next card, is, the next oracle card is your angel card, and that is crystal. And she says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. So, yes, the wheel of fortune, things are changing, things are moving. Um, you're coming out, you're thawing out, so to speak. And you're, you're building even more strength, Sagittarius, than you had before. You're coming through this. You're going to be stronger and wiser. The Four of Wands, uh, this is a great card. It's telling me that everything is starting to come together for you. Where it felt like before, uh, you didn't know when things were going to start getting better, uh, if they were ever going to start getting better. But now you're starting to see that it's all starting to come together. There's still a lot more work left to be done. That's why Crystal is saying, um, just have faith and hope because something new is on the horizon. You just don't see it yet, but keep moving forward in, in, the, in the direction that you're going because things are starting to get better and, and something beautiful, miraculous is going to happen for you. The Nine of Swords being in reverse you know, you still have um, some difficulties with the situation. You know, I mean, you're still healing. You're still trying to thaw out, if you will. The Nine of Swords is telling me that uh, you're having difficulty still sleeping. Um, there's still some hurt and, and um, confusion, you know, as to what happened, how it happened and so forth. And it's just a matter of time. Time is the greatest healer of all. Uh, I said in my last uh, reading with the Capricorn, uh, I wish that I had a pill that could heal people's emotions. Um, because if I had that pill, I would be a multimillionaire. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the only medicine is time. And... Um, so your flower card is a hydrangea and it's it's about taking first steps you know it healing comes in little baby steps you can't do it all at once 
breaking down this problem into tiny pieces makes it easy to take the first step. And you know what, Sagittarius, you take all the time that you need. Um, there's no guide or rules as to how fast you heal. It's just you heal when you heal and you take your time and you take little baby steps and it's okay to do that. Um, but the, I love your bonus card here. It's trust your own understanding. Look at that. Trust yourself. I mean, I feel like whatever the situation was that happened, and again, this is general reading, but you know, it left you being confused. And for some of you, maybe people, there were maybe people that made you feel uh, inadequate and made you feel like you didn't, uh, you, that you couldn't trust your own understanding, that you were being told this, that, and the other, but deep down, you knew that there was something else, that whatever the situation out was, you knew the truth. Um, deep down inside but maybe you weren't being given the truth and uh so this card it tells me that you trust your own understanding you know because that's really all you have you know you have your connection with universe and you talk with your spirit guides and your angels and you find your own listen to your own intuition and your own understanding and you step in your own power and and uh, believe in yourself, um, stuff in your own truth and in your own power, and you set boundaries, and there's nothing that can take that away from you. But the moment you start letting somebody tell you how things really were, and, and they try to convince you of, of, of something, and you start to believe them when deep down you know that that's not the truth, that's when you give your power over to that person. So always trust your own understanding. I'm going to read what that means, that card. Um, since it's very important that you, you trust yourself and don't rely on other people. Um, I'll tell you before I read this, I, I had a, a lady one time came to me for a reading and her, um, her, her boyfriend had, been killed and she was being told by the attorney and uh, some other people that it was um, that it was a, an accident it was totally an accident or, or something to that sort and as I was reading the cards um, I began to tell her what was really going on and she began to cry and she said, you know, I've always felt that I have felt like I've been get, being given the runaround by the lawyers and some of his friends. Um, I, and she, she knew in her heart that it was the story that she was being told was not the truth. She felt that there was something else to it. And, um, and, and she knew, and, and she was just really devastated with being, you know, jerked around from this person and that, and then even the attorney that she was dealing with. But anyway, trust your own understanding. The information you you are receiving is reliable and accurate. Look deeply into the situation before making any commitments. You have a foresight and ability to discern that there is more here than meets the eye. Everything will be revealed in the appropriate time. Don't feel the need to prove yourself. Be patient and allow things to unfold as they will. And yes, the truth will come out. Uh, trust in your own observations and knowledge. They hold your truth. You know, many, many years ago, I get, I have a 35 year old, so I guess it was about, I don't know, 35 years ago, um, I, I had to take my son's father to court and back then I didn't know that you could lie in court. Well, you're not supposed to anyway. Um, but I thought that, you know, this is how naive I was. I was in my twenties. Uh, but I thought if you went to court, uh, and you 
you know, like held your hand up and swore to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. I thought that's what you did. And, and so I, I uh, took my uh, son's father to court uh, for child support. And he, I mean, he tried to deny that this is his child. And, oh, my God, he told such stories. His attorney told stories. And, I mean, I kept thinking, where is this coming from? How is he coming to court and lying like this? And, uh, and I, I was devastated. I was so upset. Um, and a I remember a friend of mine telling me, she said, don't worry about it. You let him tell all the lies he wants. Because in the end, the truth will come out in the wash. And she was right. The truth did come out in the wash. And because uh, the truth came out in the wash of a blood test <laughs> where it showed he was 99.99% the father. <laughs> but anyway, um, and, and I won that case. But, um, you know, that just goes to show. That's what I'm trying to tell you is if you know something to be true or you really feel in your heart that something is is not right in what you're being told or or what you're seeing but there's there's something else that you're you're seeing it a different way um you know stay true to yourself and stand in your own power and don't let other people sway you um you you take control and um Anyway, I hope that this helps you, uh, Sagittarius. And uh, again, if you want your own personal reading, you can get that. All you got to do is go to my website that's listed um, below in the box. Also, if you want to make a small monetary donation to this reading, you can do so um, by going to my PayPal or Venmo. That is also listed in the box. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notice every time I put something out. Sagittarius, I hope you have a wonderful November and I will see you in December. Bye-bye.